subscribe, ring the notification bell and leave a comment down below. Hello. Hello. How are you? Fine, thank you. Your name is? Jules. And this is? This is Matisse. Hello, Matisse. Oh. Hello. Who's a good boy? Who's a good boy? Who's a good boy? <laughs> so tell me about Matisse. Matisse is a teddy bear. From the first second he was born, I fell in love with him and I had to have him. I just felt there was something special about this dog. So you got a real bond? I have absolutely a real bond. And what's the dream? I would love to make a children's series where Matisse is the hero. Oh, wow. <laughs> OK, well, good luck. Thank you very much. Thank you. Come. years old again. I just bought into him and to you, but it was a faultless, faultless story and routine. Well done. Oh, what a gorgeous dog you have. You're so lucky. You've done a brilliant job with him and I loved it. It was fantastic. Yeah. Well done. The relationship between the two of you reminds me a lot of uh, me and Simon, actually. <laughs> it was really joyous. And I like that you told a story and we were involved. And, and uh, yeah, it was a very clever routine. And you've trained your dog absolutely beautifully. And he's adorable. Thank you. Thank you. I know how difficult this is, because <laughs> I have two dogs called Squidly and Diddly. And it took me a year to get one of them to put his paw up. And I thought that was a result. <laughs> But he is actually, I think, the smartest dog I've ever seen. OK, David, yes or no? It's a yes for me. Alicia. It's a yes for me. Amanda. Absolutely yes. Super. Jules, and more importantly, Matisse, you have four yeses. Thank you.
boy. Good boy. Good boy. Look at that. Mia, sit and stay. Hello. Sit. Hi. And your name is? Edna Moore. And this is? Mia Moore. Mia Moore. <laughs> Mia Moore. Yes, she is. <laughs> Do you want to tell us a bit more about Mia? Well, Mia, she loves fashion, as you can see. Her wardrobe, forget it. She has more clothes than Tyra. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so what is the act we're going to see today? Because I'm really excited about this. Well, Mia, she can count. Any number between 1 and 50. She also read number of flashcards. OK, well, listen, best of luck, both of you. If you would like to choose a number that you would like for her to count to, I'll, I'll tell her to count it for you. Uh, four. Mia, count to four. Go. Are you nervous? Are you, ner are you nervous? No. No, she's not nervous. OK, sit. Mia, count to four. Another number. Uh, 16. 16. Okay. Mia, sit. 16. Mia, 16. I'll let you pick the number. Oh, I just picked? Yes, you pick a number you want her to count to. OK. Mia, sit, sit. Mia? What number is this? There's no way. What are your names? I'm Tina, and this is Chandy, the amazing dancing dog. A dancing dog? Good. Good girl. So, why are you here today? We're here today to hopefully show everybody how beautiful and talented my little rescue dog is. OK. <laughs> <laughs> and Tina, uh, what, do you, what do you work at? Um, I teach the piano and the violin. OK, in your own time. OK. Chandy. Yeah. yeah, music.
Fans are on their feet. Even the judges are on their feet. You know, Tina, I wish Simon was here today because he would have absolutely loved that. Uh, that has to be... Chandy, I'm talking to you. Chandy. Chandy. You are the most talented dog I have ever seen on this show. Chandy's like, yeah, hello. Hello. I can do your job as well, Piers. <laughs> your dog is an accomplished dancer. Amazing. It's just so lovely to see your relationship and how she just really wants to please you. To thank you for looking after her, I think. She's lovely. It's the best dog act I've ever seen. I think Chandy is a star. Yeah. And has great likability. <laughs> What's wrong with her knee then? Oh, she's just got a little sore on her leg that's almost healed. Right. Nothing oh. wrong with her at all. And so, like unlike certain members of our panel, she is sick but managed to bravely battle off. <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. Well, yes uh, I'm going to vote twice. Once on my behalf and once on Mr. Cal's behalf. Yes. And it is two yeses. Okay. Amanda. Wait, yes from me. Tina and Chandy. You've got four yeses. <laughs>Welcome to the show. Thank you. Hello. What's your name, please? I'm Jose Fuentes. And how old are you? 58 years old. Oh, wow. All right. I'm very young, no? <laughs> what is your dog's name? Her name is Carrie. Carrie? And what are you doing for us today? Today, we are going to do dance. How do you teach a dog to dance? Mm -hmm. What got you into uh -huh. dancing with Carrie? I danced uh, as a boy. My ex-wife did not <laughs> dance with me. So you dance with Carrie. <laughs> but Carrie is the best partner dancer. So you divorced your wife who wouldn't dance with you yes. and then bought a dog <laughs> so that the dog... <laughs> <laughs> now I get dance. it. That's why Carrie is wearing a dress. Got it. OK, this is going to be a really weird season. <laughs> Good luck. Thank you. It's a full-on dress. Sensation, the reason for aviation. <laughs> and fellas, you got to watch it. When she wind up, she bottom, she go like a rocket. Jump in the line, rock your body in time. Okay, I believe you. Jump in the line, rock your body. In time. Heist those skirts a little higher. Shake, 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 shake Sinora. Shake your body line. There is a better dancer than Jose. Sinora, shake it all the time. Work, 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 Sinora. Uh, Jose, so did you have to teach Carrie or did she just start dancing on her own one day? Uh, I learned to dance with together, together, learn, learn together dancing. No, but that's why I'm asking. So one day you just... <laughs> I'm, I'm laughing, but it's great. So one day you just discovered that you could... <laughs> No, what I'm trying to say is, is that you were, you found out one day that if you put on <laughs> certain song, you started dancing together. Yes. Yes. Which is, by the way, incredible. I mean, I would love my dog to do the same thing. Why would your wife not do that? <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. But we you expected. know, you, well, he choreographed a routine and Kerry the dog followed. 
and jumped it back and forward and round and so I actually really liked it. I thought it was very entertaining and a lot of fun for the first 15 seconds and then I found myself... Oh, come on. Well, I'm telling you the truth, that's what happened come to me. Come on. Okay, we're gonna vote. Suck it to me. I'm gonna say yes. Heidi? I'm sorry, I'm gonna give you a no. What? I'm sorry. Sorry. Mel? I loved it, I enjoyed it, I'm gonna say yes. Maui? It takes three yeses to go on. America. Welcome back. <laughs> Good job, Gary. I actually think the dog liked dancing. One day they're just sitting around the house, he looked at her, <laughs> she looked at him, and it was like, let's dance. Well, the wife's gone. <laughs> All right, congratulations. Thank you. Bye. Bye, Gary. Bye, Gary. Hi. Hello. How are you? I'm fine, thank Good. you. Good. Right, introduce me, please. Uh, I'm Ashley, and this is my dog, Pudsy. Pudsy. Pudsy, yeah. He's gorgeous. How old is he? He's six. OK, so tell me about the two of you. Where did you first meet? Um, my mum gave him to me for my 11th birthday. OK, and how old are you? I'm 16. OK, so you're at school? Yeah. OK, so where do you see the two of yourself if you were to win this show in a few years' time? I'm looking for Oscars. Do you think your dog and you could win an Oscar? Yes. <laughs> oh, yes, pricked up at that look. Yes, yeah, he's yes, good Oscar. He's yes. like, yeah. Good. Best yeah. of luck. Thank you. Putsy, come on, Putsy. Good boy. Ready? He's a cute Ready? little thing, isn't he? Good boy. Ready? Sit. Right. Oh, my gosh. I'm one now.
human? You and Pudsy are adorable. I've been dying to see a dancing dog. That was fantastic. Thank you. Well done. Good boy. Everything about that was brilliant. Chemistry between the two of you. I was completely blown away. Thank you. Uh, you know me. I love a dancing dog. I do. And Pudsy's one of the best dancing dogs I've ever seen. <laughs> Well, this great connection between the two of you. My only criticism would have been I would have put Pudsy in a prehistoric outfit as well. <laughs> Do you think Pudsy would change if, if he won the show? I think he could go a bit diva, maybe. A little bit. He gets what he wants. OK, well, we're going to have to vote now. Uh, David, yes or no? A million percent yes. Loved it. It's a yes from me. Uh, Ashley, and more importantly, Pudsey, <laughs> you're through to the next round. Three yeses. Oh, thank you. Oh, you. That's amazing. What about the judges' comments? Some great comments. I know. Oh, it's when they stood up at the end. I was just like, oh, God. Absolutely. Wait. Before you continue watching this video, because I know you will, three things. Subscribe ring the notification bell and leave a comment down below. Hello. Hi, hello. Okay, this is what I've been looking forward to. So who have we got here? I'm Pam and this is my dog, Oscar. Okay, how old is he? He is three years old. He's adorable. Yeah, thank you. I love him, he is adorable. And, and Pam, how old are you? I am 59 years old. You look good. Okay, and tell me why you've entered the show this year. Because Oscar has a very unique talent. He can sing. What? When he, when I play the piano, he can sing. Are you, and, are you um, winding me up? No, I'm telling you, he can sing. He can hold a note. He can even do a vibrato and everything. A yeah, what? He's on, oh, yeah, he can. Wow. And where did he learn how to sing? Um, he started singing about a year and a half ago in my living room when I was playing the piano. And so then I worked with him, and now he really sings. So does he write his own lyrics or what? Um, he, you know what? He, ha he doesn't write them yet, but I have a feeling that he might. I don't want to expect too much, but yeah, I, I'm not kidding. I've done this show a long time, and I, I always said if we could find a dog that could sing, that would be everything to me. Good luck. All right, thank Both you. All right, Oscar, let's get ready here.
Lucy. What's the name of your gorgeous dog? Um, his name is Trip Hazard. Trip Hazard. Yeah. <laughs> well, Trip for short. Is he called Trip Hazard because you literally do trip over him? Yeah. <laughs> Trips across between a Pomeranian and a Maltese. I've had him for about a year and a half, and I've been training him since I got him. You got a friend in me. Our act today is a dog dancing act. I work as a dog trainer, so whenever I've got any little gaps in the day, I've always got Trip with me, and I'll get him out, and we'll have a little bit of a practice. Try not to do it too much though, because he is tiny, and I have to bear in mind he gets tired really easily. Chippy, Trip. Oh my God, don't go to sleep. He's got a selection of girlfriends. He's even got a couple of boyfriends. He's not bothered. Are you shy? I've done TV shows before with my border collie, Indy. She did Bat Dog Can Dance. She did Britain's Got Talent last year. But she's quite sensitive, whereas Trip is a bit of a crowd pleaser. Trip is a dog with a difference. And we just want to go out onto that stage and show the nation that little dogs aren't just for handbags and they could be great performers as well. And, and just to be clear, there's only one of them, yeah? Yeah, yeah, there's only one dog. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Never know. Good luck. Thank you. Oh, 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 it's too cute. Now I'm feeling optimistic. Good.
mind, please. He's the most important. I can see so that. So I start with him. Uh, okay. He's my best friend, Falco, a nine year old border collie. My name is Lucas. I'm 22 years old, and we are here to perform a canine freestyle. And where did you two meet? When I was a child, my dad and all of the family wanted a dog at home. So we met all the puppies, and Falco was peeing on my dad's leg. <laughs> and I was, <laughs> I thought it was funny. We should take him, and it was the start of a great friendship. Oh, I love that. <laughs> okay, Lucas and Falco, the stage is yours. Thank you. Oh. He's like a little pup, he's beautiful. I can't wait. Gabrielle, what did you think? That was absolutely awesome. I have five dogs at home, and knowing how much work goes into training a dog just to do basic obedience, and he's doing all kinds of tricks. I love you, I love Falco, great job. Great, thank you. Howie? It's adorable. You made it exciting, I thought the music was good. It was like a boot scooting doggy. <laughs> I loved it. Julian. Oh, you want to come play? <laughs> it was amazing. I thought it was fun. I thought it was energetic. <laughs> it's okay, Falco. He knows how good he is. He doesn't need to hear the comments. Oh, the terror. It was amazing. Well, I love it. He loves me. He loves me. He has amazing personality, but also importantly, so do you, because both have got to work. I think this is the best dog app we've had this year. Yeah. <laughs> okay, let's vote. How are yes or no? Yes. That's one. <laughs> Gabrielle. You got two yeses. Thank you. And now you have three. And I can tell how much this means to you, Falco. You've got four yeses. <laughs> It's amazing. I can't describe my feelings.
should have jumped over on hind legs. My name's Sarah. And who's this? This is my dog, Hero. <laughs> oh. Well, listen, I'm really good luck and lovely to meet you. Thank you so much. <laughs> Fantastic. Thank you so much. Uh, Howie. Do you know what Medieval Times, have you ever been to Medieval Times? I have. If they took that concept and made a one-woman show, this is what I think it would be. Okay. <laughs> what? I didn't see an amazing trick. I didn't see one amazing trick. He's allowed his opinion. It's okay. <laughs> no, he did some flips and kind of jumped off a butt and did another weird flip. I would like to see more. He's so cute. Okay. Uh, Mel. I think I'm going to have to kind of agree with Howie. What? I think if you do get through to the next round, focus on really switching up what you do. Because there were a few tricks in there that I was like, oh, wow, that's great. I just wish you would have put them in a lot sooner. They had a sword fight. I've never seen a dog have a sword fight with its owner before. And I felt Hero was almost singing along with the music. So I don't think they quite understood what you just did. All right. But maybe now I've explained it. Let me kick this off with Howie. I don't understand. I do. I don't. Okay. I don't. That's okay. So I'm going to say no. Yes or no, Mel? I'm sorry. I'm going to have to say no. What? Quiet. We don't want to make anybody feel terrible. Listen, no. what you do is what you I'm do is far something. beyond anything. In the world. Look, I've never done this before, never. But I'm asking you on behalf of Sarah and Hero, Mel.
both of you. Trust me on this. I saw something you didn't see. Okay, okay, I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. I know people like dogs, so I'm gonna... I, I feel so bad. This is emotional. I'll change it to a yes. Mm. Oh, Heidi. See you again in any case. You have a yes from me. So two yeses. Okay, Sarah, you have a yes from Howie, a yes from Heidi, a no from Mel. Boo. But Sarah, hero, you have a yes from me. Well done. Oh, you did great. Hey guys, I'm Alicia Dixon. I was your favourite judge on Britain's Got Talent, and I'm over here in America doing America's Got Talent. You know what? It kind of looks like I'm really good friends with Simon Cowell. <laughs> For more of these videos from Talent Recap, all you need to do, hit that button below to subscribe.